comes to mind when you think of Texas? Cowboys, maybe the barbecue. How about a 72-ounce steak that is free if you eat the whole thing? But what if I said to you, island living? No? Well, that just means you have never been to Galveston. This island on the Texas Gulf Coast is famous for its natural beauty, and it is easy to see why. Between Galveston Island State Park and the Moody Gardens wildlife exhibits, living on this island is like a year-round summer vacation. I'm just going to stay here and dream about my boat. And maybe the best part here, compared to other island destinations, Galveston's housing market pretty darn stable, which makes buying a house here a bit more accessible. Wow. Yeah, this is really unexpected. And that's great news for Wendy and Scooter, who want to make their favorite vacation destination their new home away from home. It's nice that it's not so hot today. I know. The breeze is nice. Yes. I'm Scooter. I'm Wendy, and we're looking to buy our dream home in Galveston, Texas. It's kind of nice when it's not super crowded, too. That's what will be nice about being able to come down here whenever we want, you know? It's way more peaceful when it's just us. Our first date was playing pool, just hanging out, kind of getting to know each other. Is that a sand dollar? Yep. Yay! Your favorite. The day after, he sent me fire and ice roses. They're the most beautiful roses. They're red and white. And something about that caught my attention. It is like sand dollar day. I saved the petals. And at our wedding, the flower girl threw those petals down as I was walking down the aisle. Wow. That's awesome. That's this huge. one is really big. Yeah. From the beginning, I was just very attracted to her. She knew what she wanted to do. She was very independent, but she was also just so personable. So it was really pretty easy for me. We got engaged two months after we met and then married six months later. So not much for sitting around and waiting. Things were definitely scrappy for us early on. I was a restaurant manager. I made about $24,000 a year. There were times where I worked 80 to 100 hours a week. And I remember coming home and Wendy saying, hey, I feel like a single parent. And I was like, but I took off early Friday. And she goes, I know, you got home at 7 that night. And so that Monday, I turned in my notice. You know, this my family is the most important thing to me. I got into sales for a automotive software company. A few years later, the gentleman that owned that distributorship was ready to sell it, and Wendy let me take every penny we had, just scrape together what we needed to buy that, and it really started to change everything for us. We know we want to be in a quiet neighborhood with not a lot of rentals, close access to the beach. We want to be on the water. Yep, on the water. We need to have at least three bedrooms. That way, Jake and Madison have their own rooms that they can, you know, just walk in and it'll be like they're at home. We have two kids, Jake and Madison. Well, and I'm not ready today, but soon for some grandkids. I'm ready right now for grandkids. Jake is 23. He just graduated from Sam Houston University and he just got engaged. Madison's our daughter and she's 21. She's an absolute blast. If you want to be spontaneous and you want to jump off bridges and do some fun stuff, she's your person. When I think about, you know, the last 20 something years that now we're actually gonna be buying a bay house that we can share with our friends and our family, it's just awesome. We originally started thinking about where we would have our dream home. We thought we wanted a lake house and then we kept going, but we always go to Galveston. Our first vacation was down here. Yes, I remember walking on the beach thinking I was going to get harpooned because I'd eaten so much. We stayed on the beach side a lot, and then we started staying on the bay side. And we're like, well, this is like a lake house, but the beach is across the street, so we're not really giving anything up. It would always be the place we would go. And so ultimately, 
we said, hey, that's it. It's a bay house. We want to be on a canal, we want to be on the water and be close proximity to the beach. We've rented so many houses, it'll be nice to yeah. own it. I think that prepared us, though, because we kind of know the area, we know the neighborhoods, because we've tried a few of them. This is a good time to do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. We are going to the Tarpon House. Yeah, this neighborhood is nice. I mean, even though some of the homes are older, they're all painted nice. So I think this house is all the way on the end of this. So it's the last house on the street. That would be kind of cool. Here it is. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. Look how many people you could fit under this deck. Family, friends. Like four hammocks. Grilling. Oh, there's a whole fishing pier over here. I'll never see you again. Oh, wow. Things for your bait already built into the dock. They put a lot of effort into making this really cool. Oh, it only gets better as you get out here. But does it come with the speedboat? You could pull a tuber behind that, and they would never be the same. Let's go upstairs and see what's going on up there. All right. I know it's 10 years old, but it feels pretty new. Yeah, wow. Wow, that is beautiful. 